Hello and you're very welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about some essential pieces you need in your wardrobe to take you through into the autumn season. Now each of these pieces are hero pieces in my own personal closet. I bought each of them just over a year ago now. They're all high quality pieces, not necessarily expensive, um, but all high quality. And what I found is that that means that they last, of course. At the moment, there's no wear and tear on any of them that I can see, which is incredible because I've used them a lot. And on that point, I have used them not just through autumn last year, but also through winter and right into the spring as well. So these are all very versatile pieces that you can just tailor to your own closet. And I find that they do mix and match and have allowed me to create so many different outfits as I move through the seasons. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trish. And on this channel, I talk about starting over from scratch on my personal style and on my wardrobe as well. Over the last year and a half to two years, I have built back my closet from scratch and I've really focused on quality and fit and versatility in all of the pieces that I've bought. So I've learned a lot through that process and that's why I started the channel. I really wanted to share everything I've learned and am still learning today so if you like videos on personal style and how to style items, as well as tips and tricks to get the most out of your wardrobe, then please consider subscribing to the channel. So I'm going to start with what is, in my opinion, the most versatile piece out of the bunch and it is a blazer. Now, it doesn't have to be this blazer, obviously. Um, any blazer will do. Um, this is a blazer from The Curated. It is, it's a slightly relaxed fit. Um, which and it is 100% lined in silk, which makes it extremely comfortable and breathable to wear. This piece will mix and match with so many outfits. So for example, I love wearing an all white base to take me from the summer into the autumn. And then later, as the weather gets a bit colder and the days get darker, I tend to move from an all white base to a all black base. <laughs> and as you can tell, my color palette is limited but that does allow me to get maximum versatility out of all of my pieces. So my color palette is black, white, and blue. And in the white spectrum, I do branch into neutrals and that's where this blazer fits in. It is a beautiful neutral color, goes with white, black, and blue, of course, as well as a myriad of others. A blazer is essential because it is a wonderful layering piece for autumn. You can carry it with you and then of course pop it on if it gets cold. There is something about the blazer as a layering piece as well that will always finish off the look of an outfit I feel. So it is a really really useful one to have in your closet. The next essential I want to talk about are ankle boots. So I'll focus on these. These are a pair of sock boots from Zara. They're almost two years old now so but I'll see if I can find some similar ones and link them in the description box for you. I have found these to be extremely versatile. Um, I pair them with jeans, with suit pants, um, and even with black tights and a dress, they look fantastic that way as well. So these are a really fantastic shoe to bring me into the autumn season. The other thing is that as you can see, they have a heel and I'm five foot two. So for me, it's always useful to have some height in my shoes. So I love them for that as well. The pointed toe is a very flattering silhouette, I always find. And I think these will look absolutely amazing paired with wide leg trousers as well, because that pointed toe then will just break up the silhouette at the end and give it some much needed contrast. So I'm really looking forward to wearing these with some wide leg pants this season as well. But all in all, I have paired these, you know, with suit pants, as I've said, cigarette pants, tapered pants. They'd look great with wide leg pants and any type of jean. I love pairing these with a straight leg jean. Um, so they are a very, very versatile piece and you really can't go wrong with a heeled sock boot for the autumn season. The next essential is a chunky knit. And this one is... <laughs> one of my favorite pieces in my closet. I spoke about this on so many of my previous videos. So check them out if you're interested to see me talking more in more depth about this piece. It's from Cezanne and it's called their Leontine and it is from their Essentials range, which means that 
they do restock this quite a lot. So when this sells out, they tend to restock it, um, which is fantastic. Now I got mine in a size small, but the only thing I would have done differently is to get it in a size down. Cezanne's knitwear does tend to run a little bit large and that is lovely because sometimes, you know, you want the chunkiness because you want to put layers underneath a jumper like this, but you don't want to be swimming in it either. And again, I am five foot two and I do find that I swim in a lot of clothes. Um, a lot of clothes just look unintentionally bulky on me. So I have to be really careful with my sizing. So look, this still looks really good um, tucked into pants. Um, I have no complaints about it at all. But it is just something to bear in mind if you were thinking of investing in any Cezanne knitwear this season. They do tend to say on their website, they say, you know, something like if you're in between sizes, size up, or if you're in between sizes, size down. So do look for that guidance on their website if you're thinking of buying anything. Um, now, this video isn't sponsored by Cezanne, uh, sadly, but <laughs> I'm including this and I'm kind of being so complimentary about it because I have found that it's just an incredible piece that has done me well so far and like I said is an absolutely beautiful condition there's absolutely nothing wrong with it no fraying no nothing and so this is going to form a core part of my closet this autumn and going into the winter as well and spring I can't wait to wear it basically <laughs> I've missed wearing it while the weather has been so warm and um, so yeah I'm looking forward to to styling this with a few pieces again if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps the video to reach more people. The next wardrobe essential for fall is a good pair of jeans. Now, these ones are from a Goldie and they are the pair of jeans I reach for the most bar absolutely none. Um, I did a video comparing these to another pair of jeans in my closet. So check that out if you're interested. And um, you will be able to see that these jeans are you know, far more flattering on my shape and just far more structured and they're just a better overall fit on me, basically. Um, so that is why I love them and paid the extra money for them. Um, in addition to that, as you would expect, the fabric is of top notch quality. It's 100% organic cotton, but while there's no stretch in it, there is actually a bit of give in it. So when you try them on first and kind of wear it in, it very quickly becomes really, really comfortable. And it honestly, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing a jean. It's not rigid. Um, so, so yeah, I really, really enjoy wearing this. And it is obviously any kind of blue jean in this type of wash is going to be an incredibly versatile piece in your wardrobe anyway. And I find that I can wear it for any occasion. You know, if I'm I can dress it up with a blazer for going to a party. I even wear this going to work. Um, I Again, I would wear it with a blazer and some heeled shoes. I'll be wearing this with a cashmere sweater. Um, I'll be wearing it with the Cezanne Leontine sweater that you've already seen. So they are a fabulous pair of jeans and I am really looking forward to getting even more wear out of them. I cannot go through autumn without wearing a cashmere sweater and I live in Ireland, so it doesn't always get that hot. So I can't even go through the summer <laughs> without wearing my cashmere sweater. And I have two, and this is one of them. So it's from Everlane. And um, they don't make this exact style anymore, but it is a standard crew neck, as you can see. And they, they still make standard crew neck cashmere sweaters. It is part of their core range. Um, it is a beautifully soft, material as you can imagine and it's just and cashmere is just one of those magic fabrics that somehow manages to keep you cool when it's warm and warm when it's cool <laughs> I don't know I don't know how it does it but yeah it is absolutely magical so that means then that it's comfortable to wear um, even as the temperatures and the seasons are changing so it's a fantastic transitional piece as well as a piece that I would continue wearing then, even after the weather starts getting very cold. Um, it is quite a thin knit, as you can see here. Um, so, hang on, I'll see if you can... So it is quite thin. It's not a chunky sweater by any manner or means. And what that means is that it's fantastic for layering as well. Um, so this is a great piece going into 
the autumn season and the transitional season in front of us. The next piece I can't live without during autumn are suit trousers. And this is a pair from, oh, this is a pair from Arquette and they are wool trousers. They're not too thick, you know, they're not, but, um, but they are trousers that I would wear only as the weather starts getting cold, kind of halfway through autumn. Again, a very versatile piece. These can easily be dressed up or down. I find these fantastic for work, for example, but equally I've worn them with a t-shirt and just sandals and, and that has worked really well as a more casual outfit then as well. I have done an entire review on these trousers. So check out my channel if you want to see that. I'll leave a link for it in the description box. Overall, yeah, an absolute wardrobe must have for the autumn months. I cannot do an autumn essentials video without talking about a trench coat. A trench coat is one of those absolutely essential layering pieces that just make every outfit look more polished, more finished looking. And it has the added benefit, of course, of keeping the elements out as well. So they're a complete win-win in my opinion. Now, I have done a video on this trench coat. It is from Massimo Duty, and I got the size, let me check again, Euro small, and um, and I find it does leave room for a sweater underneath, etc., etc. So that's really, really good. It is a really nice size. This is something that can obviously be worn open or closed, depending on the weather or the look you want to achieve. So as the weather is still a little bit warm, but starting to get colder, I would just wear this open over my outfit and that way then it is an extra layer should I need it if the weather changes, which it often does at the drop of the hat in Ireland. And because it's quite a long coat, it does tend to lengthen my entire frame and silhouette as well, which I really appreciate being petite. So overall, I think a trench coat is a fantastic piece, not just from its aesthetic qualities, but also it's sheer practicality as well. And last, but by no means least, no autumn wardrobe is complete without a leather handbag. So I will be swapping out my straw bags with one of leather. So this one is my quilted leather bag that I use all the time. It's from DKNY. It's very old now, but still in perfect condition. So I'm really reluctant to declutter it, to be honest with you. I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to get rid of this. Um, you know, what I'll do is I'll probably buy a new one, but it won't be a replacement, um, if that makes sense. So this is a really versatile bag. Now it has a lovely long kind of chain and leather strap, which means that, and that strap is adjustable as you can see. So that means that I can wear this on my shoulder or crossbody, or I can also just pop the chain into the bag itself and the bag becomes a clutch. As you can see, it's small enough to grab with just one hand. And, you know, I find I don't carry around a lot of stuff with me. So I never find myself reaching for bigger bags unless I'm traveling. So this bag is the perfect size for me. As well, like I've said multiple times during this video, but it is a relevant detail that I am petite. So I do not want to be swamping my frame by using a bigger bag. This size bag I find is absolutely perfect for my frame and just looks proportional um, with any of my outfits. So, so yeah, this leather bag is an absolute, well, not this exact leather bag, but you know, so any leather bag in a darker shade, I think is a really good addition to any closet as we go into autumn and winter. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.